When I started my business in 2015, I started it just as a hobby, as something that I like doing. And then fast forward to 2018, I made this uh, Black Panther design, like Wakanda with the Wu-Tang uh, logo, and it took off. And that was the kind of spark that made me think I could maybe do this full time. And the person that really inspired me to think about this full time um, is another vendor I met kind of in that same network. Um, Danelle, she's the owner of D. Lachey. And I don't know if you've ever seen kind of like the African print H or the W's like for the Harvard or Yale. Like, so she does those. Um, and she went and did her business full time. And so like, working with her and getting mentorship from her she was able to kind of like make it less scary a lot of the barriers i thought were barriers weren't barriers after kind of learning from her journey doing um her business full-time and so i'd say she's definitely one of the inspirations for me to take my business full-time I remember exactly where I was and my phone started like going off crazy with these Etsy orders. And then I went and looked and um, this popular pin making site had posted my, my pin. And so people were buying from that. And then it just, it like spun out of control. Jesse Williams wound up reposting the pin. Um, I think Yvonne Orgy had it on her story. So a couple people had it on. And so it was dope to experience going viral. Um, and then seeing that, what that going viral looks like when it's tied to something that makes you money. Um, so that has been one of the hands down most awesome kind of experiences that I've had with my business. Well, prior to the pandemic, um, I was doing a number of things, including like in-person dinners. Um, so kind of curated dinner experiences um, since I bake as well um, when I was teaming up with my good friend who's a chef and so when COVID hit that kind of threw that out the door um, and so I pivoted in terms of taking my baking online so doing um, online orders and then deliveries or pickups or contactless pickups um, so that's really helped um, along with of the products that I do I used to do I scaled back a lot of, on in-person sales because they weren't really yielding me the money I was looking for, but I still had some. Um, and then that changed that. So really kind of gearing and putting my money into online advertisement. Um, and it really kind of pushed me to um, get my website together. So I had a website, it wasn't really functional. Then I kind of just used my Etsy and my social media pages to function for the most part of my business um, until now. So now I'm getting a website um, together so that it's more encompassing of everything I do. Um, so definitely that was a direct result from COVID. I'm actually in the process of trying to um, probably not until like maybe a year or two from now but I do want to open up a cafe um, that has like kind of a small black owned shop inside of it um, and things so that you know after all things COVID has you know died down kind of looking to actually have like a functioning cafe restaurant so the idea for the, ca the cafe is built like black owned built, black owned operated, black owned like supplied. And so having all these businesses that I've, you know, gotten to know over the couple of years, like be able to furnish the place, like put the place together. And so think of kind of like a jungle lounge Starbucks cafe <laughs> type of yeah. vibe. Um, so a place where people can get some good food after hours, but also, you know, a place that you can host an open mic or host a trivia night or, you know, catch up with friends on comfy couches and tables and whatnot. Um, so that's kind of the vibe. Somewhere in the true Boston neighborhoods, and by that I mean kind of like Roxbury or Mattapan, I'm from Mattapan, um, maybe even Dorchester. So some of the... Um, 
some of the not as popular Boston neighborhoods. Um, I want to have it be in a predominantly, you know, black or people of color area. Mm-hmm.